Well, an old misdiagnosis is now the foundation of a new lawsuit. It all started when Lorena and Jason Troy welcomed a baby boy back in 2015. The baby's head kept swelling, leading the Troys to seek medical advice. Doctors blamed the swelling on repeated shaking and accused the Troys of child abuse. The state took both of the couple's children away and placed them into foster care. Jason Troy faced two felony charges of child abuse and was forced to leave his job and sell their home to pay for attorney expenses. Finally, a medical expert diagnosed the child with benign external hydrocephalus. And by the time their kids were returned, over 150 days had passed. We want change and we want justice. We don't want any other families or children to have to endure this horrible emotional trauma. These are lifelong impacts that affect families, affect families for the rest of their lives. And we want change. The family just filed a lawsuit targeting the medical provider where the doctor worked and several Texas Department of Family and Protective Services workers. They say their children were deprived of constitutional rights and illegally removed.